Welcome to day six of your social media and video marketing bootcamp. It's Jenny Aldretti with Lux Mortgage Team and George and I are glad you're here. As always, we love helping you grow your business. So if you have a home buyer that we can help with their home loan, we would love to serve. Okay, before we get started, we have a couple housekeeping items we need to take care of. One, everybody should be receiving these videos by text and email every single day, Monday through Friday. I'm using an automated system to push them through, but of course there are always errors. So if you don't receive it, feel free to text me at 512-589-7795, but the videos are also on YouTube. And of course, you can find me on YouTube at Lux Mortgage Team, L-U-X-E. My goal is to have them sent directly to you to make it easier for you, but at least you have a backup plan. Second thing is don't forget all of the resources in our Facebook group, The Ultimate Agent 2023. Every single week, we have three video ideas for you and two graphics, which means there are weeks and weeks of video ideas that you can go back and check out. So if you're just dying to shoot more videos, go and use those ideas to get started. Next, let's get into some breaking news. TikTok, or as one congressman referred to it as TikTok, is currently testifying in front of Congress with the potential of actually being banned in the US. Now there's a lot of implications for our social media marketing because of this. This is why we're gonna make sure that we have a straightforward and a diverse social media marketing strategy. And why we never wanna put all of our eggs in one basket and why implementing things like text marketing, like what we talked about in day five, is so crucial. Okay, moving forward, we're gonna be discussing the various platforms that you can post your videos on. Obviously, each platform has its unique features, nuances, algorithms, etc. So here's my advice to you, take it or leave it. Start with one platform where most of your sphere is. Get really good at that platform, meaning you're posting there, you're engaging there, and you're actually making conversions and getting clients from there on a consistent basis. Now you can take your videos and you can post them everywhere else as well, but your main focus is gonna be on that one platform. If this takes you an entire year, it takes you a year and that's okay. Like I said, you can still post everywhere else. And when I say focusing on one platform, I'm not just talking about posting. In order to truly dive into video marketing and in order to be strategic, I have an entire plan for you. And part of this plan might have been why you haven't been successful in the past. It's not enough just to post videos. But I promise you, if you follow my plan consistently, you will get more leads, you will get more closings, and you'll create this unbelievable momentum in your business. So here's how I'm going to organize it. And it's not going to be perfect for everybody. That would be impossible. So you can definitely tweak it to fit your needs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by teaching you how to make videos in Instagram. But if you want to make them in TikTok or you want to make them in Facebook Reels, it's pretty similar. And we're going to set up your Instagram profile, but we're actually going to be focusing on your Facebook profile first. And you may be asking, why are we starting with Facebook? Because regardless of what you're hearing, Facebook is still the most popular social media platform. It has the most number of users worldwide and in America, with the rankings going Facebook, Instagram, and then TikTok. Now, while Facebook is the biggest platform in terms of users, TikTok is the biggest app of choice for younger generations, with one-fifth of Generation Z using it more than five hours a day. But this is why we're going to create a social media marketing plan that works for you on all platforms, just one step at a time. So let's look at some facts about Facebook. Facebook has 2.93 billion active users every single month. 70% of internet users are active on at least one meta platform. Facebook is the seventh most valuable brand in the world. Facebook.com is the third most visited website in the world. Facebook is the second most used app in terms of usage in the world, and only YouTube tops it. It is the third most downloaded app behind Instagram and TikTok. About 15% of the Facebook feed content is recommended by AI from non-followed accounts. Zuckerberg says that he expects that this amount will more than double by the end of 2023. So that means that about 30% of your feed by 2023 will be accounts that you do not follow. So this means that you as a realtor and as a brand has a huge opportunity to get in front of a new group of people. 67% of monthly users are active daily. 72% of Facebook users also use YouTube, WhatsApp, and Instagram. 50% of Facebook users are also on TikTok. So having a strong cross-platform campaign strategy will ensure that you deliver the right message on each platform and you have the opportunity to not only get the right customers, but meet them where they are multiple times which will increase your conversion rate. 
70% of Americans use Facebook. Only YouTube ranks higher than that, y'all, with 83%. And Instagram comes in third at 47%. Facebook is the favorite social platform for the demographic of 35 to 44-year-olds. 7% of Gen Z users plan to quit Facebook in 2023, which is 18 to 25-year-olds. That's hardly a mass exodus, but it is something to keep an eye on. And the average Facebook user spends about 20 hours a month on Facebook and 30 minutes a day. So I know this is a lot of stats, and why am I telling you this? Because the numbers don't lie, y'all. If you're going to make video and you're going to spend your time, then it needs to be based on strategy. And I want you guys posting it where your people are. So while more people are on Facebook and they're spending about 30 minutes a day on Facebook, less people are on TikTok. It's about a third of Americans, but they are spending about 45 minutes a day on TikTok. So that is a trend that we need to keep an eye on. And we also need to figure out, will TikTok be banned? But either way, our goal is to have a cross-platform strategy. Another great thing about Facebook is 53% of people are more likely to work with people that they can message. And TikTok does make that harder to do while Facebook has Facebook Messenger. Okay, that was a lot. So now we're going to move on to shooting our first video and taking a look at our Instagram and Facebook profiles. One thing you always want to take into account is your user experience. When they go look at your social media profile, is it easy to follow and are you easy to find? And are you easy to contact? So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to your Facebook personal profile, not your business profile. And I'm going to link mine in the comments below. I want to make sure that you have your intro all filled out, that it says that you're a realtor. It has something that's personal about you. And then I want you to edit your bio. Make sure that it says where you work. It says where you live and where you grew up, where you went to high school, and if you graduated college. And it has all of your website links. Anything that will tell people where you live, where you work, and how you can help them and also that will allow them to connect with you on. For instance, I graduated from Baylor. That may not matter to you, but if someone else graduated from Baylor, then we can connect on that. If they see one of my videos about mortgages, they need to be able to reach my mortgage website. Or if they're a realtor and they see one of my videos about social media content, they need to be able to reach my Facebook group. They need to be able to reach you quickly. So go through and edit all of that information. Make sure that you have a great profile picture that is a high quality image of yourself it's okay if your spouse or your family is in it, but it needs to be a high quality image. And then your Facebook cover needs to be a high quality image as well. It can be personal or professional. And if you need help creating one, we certainly can provide a template for that. If you would like me to audit your Facebook personal page, go ahead and text me at 512-589-7795 and say Facebook audit in your Facebook personal name. Okay, now that I think more about it, we're gonna kind of slow down. And we'll go over your Facebook business page and your Instagram profile on another day. So let's go ahead and get into recording video. You can either record on Instagram Reels, on your camera, TikTok, wherever you want to, but I'm gonna record in Reels and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So today's video is gonna be very, very simple and it's just gonna be a nice warm up to get you comfortable on camera. So this is gonna be a must have video. Something amazing about Facebook is it tells you when people's birthdays are. So it's a great way to connect with people and let them know that you're thinking about them without talking about real estate. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna film a video one time and you're gonna say happy birthday. And you're gonna keep this in your folder section under favorites. And then every single day in Facebook, during your time blocking section for prospecting, you're gonna send this video out through DMs on Facebook wishing people happy birthday. There's usually about eight people, maybe 10 people, so it takes about a minute. So there's two things that will happen from this. One, people will think about you and they'll feel grateful. And you're gonna be able to make a connection that goes beyond real estate. But two, the algorithm will think that you guys have a relationship and they're gonna be more likely to see your content. So now as you're posting those reels and those graphics, they're gonna be more likely to see them. It's a win-win. So let me show you what that looks like. If you're still super nervous about video, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this video and instead, you're gonna make a video like this. Hey Jen, I love seeing you and the kids on Facebook. I know it's been a while. I just wanna check in and see how the family's doing. Let me know. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna make that one video and you're gonna send it to someone that you're really close with, comfortable with, and that you can just text that video to them very quickly. So if you feel comfortable and you can do that a few different times today and you can feel like that's a win, then do it. The point is you just need to get comfortable being on video, filming yourself, hearing yourself, and getting over it and sending it out. All right, so let's get to the recording. So here's how you're gonna record in Instagram. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open the app and you're gonna hit the button. Next, you're going to go ahead and hit Reel at the very bottom. And then the app will open up and you can choose Filters at the very bottom. And the Record button is simply the white dot in the middle. So I'm gonna choose the filter that I always choose, which is Toasted Almond. 
So now I'm gonna set it up here with my Octo Buddy. So there I go. So here I am. So now I'm just going to hit record and I'm gonna film my happy birthday. Hey there, Jenny Aldretti here. I just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. I hope that you feel loved and you celebrate today with all of your loved ones and that you're surrounded by everyone special. Something like that. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hit next. Hey there, Jenny Aldretti and here. I just wanted to wish you a very over happy again. birthday. And then you're gonna hit I the hope down that you arrow feel right loved, there and, and you celebrate go to today roll. with and that's all it. of your loved ones. Then you can then hit the back button and then you can just hit the X button and you can. All right, so then you hit start over and you X out and you're done. So now it's in your camera roll and then you're gonna go to Facebook and where the little notification bell is, that's where you're gonna be told that whoever's birthday it is that day. And then you're gonna DM it to them, which means you're gonna send it to them through Messenger every single day. But here's the most important part. When they respond to you, if they respond to you and they say thank you, even if they just give you a thumbs up, you are going to reply to them. So say something that fits your personality. So I say, I hope you had a great time and that you're surrounded by loved ones, but you need to respond. Otherwise it's gonna look and feel like it's just marketing. And while it is, we really are trying to add value and make people feel loved. We're just trying to do it efficiently. Do not put this video on their feed and do not wish them happy birthday on their feed. It's gonna get lost in all the other comments. And if you have their personal cell phone, go ahead and send it to them through text. That's even better and next level. But like I said, by sending it to them through direct message, you also get the algorithm moving for you. So that is your first video, sort of. Now, if you're in the Facebook group, we've already posted three videos for this week or three video ideas, so you certainly can work on those as well. And one of those is a market update that you can replicate, or you can just share mine. If you know how to stitch or duet it, you can do that as well. At this point, you should be already time blocking. Your affirmations should be in full force, and you time blocking your prospecting should be as well. Being on social media is not for fun. It is a strategy. Message me with questions.